If you've been using voiceover and you try to do a VO shift spacebar twice quickly to double click on something, you may have realized that it doesn't always work. And sometimes you gotta press VO command F5 to route the mouse to the voiceover cursor before the mouse double click key command will work. The reason for that is by default, the mouse cursor is set to ignore the voiceover cursor. And today we're gonna talk about how you can fix that so that nine times out of 10, when you do VO shift space twice quickly to double click, it will just work. What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic.Ban, a place full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind Logic voiceover and macOS user. Subscribe to the mailing list at Logic.Ban and get a free getting started with Logic course. All right, so here I am back in a project with the event list open and I'm in the position column of the event list. One, one, one scrubber group. And you see that's the scrubber group that we normally either interact with or we can VO shift base twice quickly to type in a value that we want to move this event to. And now if I do VO shift double space twice quickly. Tracks group. You see, that kind of takes me back to the tracks group and didn't actually click on it. So if this has happened to you before, this is because the mouse pointer isn't set to follow the voiceover cursor and we can fix that in voiceover utilities. So I'm gonna press VO F8 to open voiceover utilities. Opening voiceover utility, voiceover utility, voiceover utility, window, utility categories, table. And now I'm gonna press command four to jump to the navigation category. Navigation, navigation. And so now I'm gonna use VO right arrow to navigate through this window to find what I'm looking for. So we're looking for the position of the mouse pointer. So VO right arrow. Initial position of voiceover cursor, keyboard focused item, grouping behavior, standard, gr synchronized keyboard, mouse pointer. Ignores voiceover cursor, mouse pointer, pop up button. So you see mouse pointer is set to ignore voiceover cursor. So if I VO left. Mouse pointer. See it says mouse pointer if I VO right. Ignores voiceover cursor. Mouse pointer pop up button. So you see the mouse pointer pop up button is set to ignore voiceover cursor. So if I VO space on this. Menu three items check mark. Follows voiceover cursor. We want to set this to follows voiceover cursor. Press follows voiceover cursor. Follows voiceover cursor. Mouse pointer pop up button. So now the mouse pointer will always follow the voiceover cursor. So this way nine times out of 10 you can do VO shift base twice quickly without having to do VO command F5 to route the mouse to the voiceover cursor first. And we can test this. So I'm gonna do command W to close this. Logic Pro, fixing the start of your MIDI recording. Fixing the start of your MIDI recording number one. Tracks, window, tracks, group. And I'm gonna do command seven to reopen the event list. Now in, fixing the start of your MIDI recording. VO J to jump in. In table, call, bell, Lima, column one, row one empty cell. And I'm gonna navigate over to the column for a position. M, Mike, so, column two, row one empty cell. So via right. Position, one, 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 scrubber group, column three, row one. There we go. So now if I want to type in a position, I can just do VO shift space twice quickly. One, 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 scrubber group. Let's type in the number two, for example, hit return. Six items selected. One, 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 scrubber group. One, 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 scrubber group. One, one, two, one, one, scrubber group. And there you see that that is now moved to bar two, beat one. So that's what you can do if when you try to double click with the keyboard, it clicks somewhere else in the window. Now, sometimes it's always helpful to be able to simulate a mouse click. And for that, check out my tutorial on Flow Mouse. There's also a tutorial on how to fix missing notes at the start of your project. One of the methods to do that is this double click we just talked about, so check out that tutorial. There is also an in-depth tutorial on using the event list. All of those will be linked in the description below. If you found this tutorial useful, consider dropping a like and subscribing both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found on logic.band so I can notify you whenever there's updates. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. You can support us with a donation by visiting logic.band support. If you're interested in going deeper on any of these topics, book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band training. You can find both these links plus a link to a blog post with some supplemental information for this tutorial in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.